If you're a sports fan, make sure you go check out Sportscaster for all of your sports news. Whether you are a Patriots fan or not, this is the perfect way to meet all of your sports needs and is a platform I personally use myself in case any of you guys want to catch me live talking about training camp recaps, etc. I'll leave a link in the description below. What is up, Pats Nation? It's Patriots Global back here with another video, and the New England Patriots have made a trade with the Atlanta Falcons to send tight end Eric Saubert to New England for a conditional 7th round pick. So really, the Pats are getting him for essentially nothing. He's a 6 foot 5, 254 pound linebacker. He's still young at 25 years old. He played college at Drake College and he was selected in the 5th round of the 2017 draft. Now this move also actually makes a lot of sense for the Atlanta Falcons as Eric Saubert was being said to have been about the 4th or 5th tight end on their depth chart at this point. So from what it sounds like they were actually just going to release him at some point for the roster cutdowns. So really it just made more sense for them to really try to get something out of it even though it's very minimal just getting something out of it. And it also makes sense for the Patriots to do this because they want to take on his contract, they want to take on the money and they don't want to be in competition with other teams to try to sign the guy. He is set to hit free agency in 2021, so the Patriots will have him under contract for two seasons if they wish to keep him for that long, and his base salary for each season really is nothing. He's only set to make about 600000 for this season and then about 700000 for next season. As I mentioned before, the Patriots do have a lot of money in available cap, uh, they, they really maneuvered around some money, especially with that new Tom Brady contract. And really, this signing will not take much of that away. The Patriots will still have a lot of money to be able to make more trades or signings going forward. Coming out of college, Saubert was a very good tight end, okay? He was the type of end that reminded people of a tight end such as Rob Gronkowski. Just a very big body who moved very well in space. He was very capable of blocking. And just a guy that was hard to tackle. He was constantly shedding off tackles, but sadly, that didn't seem to translate in his time with the Atlanta Falcons. So he has tremendous upside to him, but just with the Falcons, never seemed to get pieced together. In his time with the Falcons, he appeared in 30 games and racked up 5 catches for a total of just 48 total yards. Last season, he definitely got more involved than he was in his first year with the team. He was targeted nine times last year, but the sad part is, is that he was only able to bring in, again, only five of those receptions for 48 yards because he did have an issue with some drops. And as we all know, that is a very good way to get yourself off of a Patriots team because Bill Belichick will not mess with that kind of stuff. The only reason he allowed it with Dwayne Allen was because Dwayne Allen was an elite blocker. But with Dwayne Allen, he was never involved in the passing game for that reason. Saubert has great size and the ability to have great hands. So he 100% still has that potential to be something very special in the league. But something really big that the Pats are going to have to work on with Saubert is his blocking, all right? Both his impact block and his run block. He didn't do a terrible job of doing that when he was in college, but again, it seemed when he went and was drafted by the Falcons, joined the Falcons team, it just seems that everything he was good at just seems to plummet, and he went from a fifth-round tight end to an undrafted tight end. All in all, some players cannot make the transition from college to NFL. Sometimes, players transitioning from college to the NFL get put on teams that don't necessarily go with their strengths, you know? Don't really fit their scheme. And I guess we'll just have to see if that's exactly what happened, or if Eric Sauber is just not able to live up to the expectations that he did in college. Currently, tight end is the Patriots' biggest need left on the team. You have Ben Watson, who of course is coming back. He'll be good in the run game. He'll also be good in helping in the pass game. But the thing is, he's suspended for four games. You then have Matt Lacoste, who you're expecting to be something, and he goes out and he gets injured. He's also having a little bit of, of struggles in training camp. Then, of course, you have your other guys, you know, Ryan Izzo, Andrew Beck. None of these guys are, are living up to any expectations. None of them are proving that they are going to make or should make a spot on the Patriots' final 53-man roster. Ryan Izzo having some issues in the passing game. 
um, from what we saw even versus the Lions in our first preseason game. And again, neither of them are doing anything in training camp. You have Lance Kendricks, who has the potential to make the Patriots roster, but he was banked up. He he is good to go. He was back at practice. Now, he was no contact, but you know him being a back at practice, that is very essential. He is expected to travel with the team and play versus the Titans, but again, we will just have to see, and we haven't seen him play with the team yet, so there isn't anything that we can live up to expectations for for Lance Kendricks. All in all, the Patriots making the trade was a smart move. You know, it is finally adding more depth to the tight end position, and they're adding it with a guy that has a whole lot of potential. The sad part is that it's happening very, very late into the offseason. I mean, we are just a couple weeks away from the Patriots having to make their final 53-man roster cutdowns, okay? August 31st is the day that they have to do this. And the day that this trade happened, the day that this is being recorded, it is August 12th. So right now, I would say Eric Saubert is still a pretty long shot to make this team. Again, it was just a conditional seventh round pick that of course means a lot more than it does saying that you know he was an undrafted free agent or just a free agent in general but again it's not like the Patriots are giving up enough for us to say that he's going to make the team I think for Sombert to be able to make this team he's going to have to come in and start developing very quickly he's not going to be able to have his issues he just doesn't have time for that He's going to have to come in, make sure he catches every ball that comes his way. His big thing is that he's able to play special teams, okay? Bill Belichick, of course, loves those guys. He's he's made some plays here on special teams. That could also be his way in. And if he can get going in the run game, then I think he'll be able to make this roster. But again, I think it is a long shot. But that is it for today's video. What are your guys' thoughts on the trade for Eric Saubert? Let me know in the comments below. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe yet. And please make sure you guys also hit that like button. And make sure that you leave your comments in the comment section below. If you guys like this video and you would like to donate to the channel, there will be a link to my PayPal in the description below. Of course, that is not mandatory, but it is always extremely, extremely appreciated. If you guys would like to get some Patriots Global merch, that is also in the link in the description below. If you guys send me a picture of you wearing your Patriots Global merch, I will include you in the next YouTube video. Make sure you guys share this video with everybody who knows we can go to the Patriots Global family. And other than that, I will catch you guys in another video.